Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. We've got yes. a wonderful show for you tonight, some very exciting wonderful. things. Now, first of all, I'd like to say, what have you got under your jacket? Ladies and gentlemen, and you people, too shy to look. <laughs> when Thames Television said that they had a surprise in store for you, and I begged them, nay, nay, I begged them to let me be the one to do it. Do what? Do what? <laughs> you don't mean... Ernest, Lloyd, Barclay, Westminster Wise. <laughs> this is your life. What about Eamon Andrews? A lot of people say that. <laughs> is Eamon Andrews a joke, they say? <laughs> no, it's all genuine. And you have my word as your lifelong friend and a gentleman. Well, that's good enough for me. This boy's a fool. <laughs> what are you talking to? Mr. Ernie Wise has become part of the British way of life. And you all know how bad that is these days. <laughs> you to cast your mind back to an incident that happened two days before you were born. Well, I can't remember offhand. Two days before you were born, your mother said to your father, will you be present at the birth? And your father replied, I think one of us should be. Well, he was a very clever man, my father. And so were you. At school, you were brilliant. Child genius. Do you remember when you left school, how many A-levels you had? 23. <laughs> 23 A-levels, ladies and gentlemen, all in mathematics. <laughs> well, actually, uh, 17 A-levels in mathematics and two more making 23. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, over the years, Ernie Wise has given a great deal of pleasure to a lot of people. And the less said about that, the better. <laughs> tonight, tonight, we pay tribute to you for your outstanding contribution to the world of entertainment. As you started your quest for stardom, the world vibrated to the drums of war. Yes, a terrible experience for all of us. To you, more than most. Yes. When your country sent out a plea for all able-bodied men to take up arms, you did not hesitate. You put on your mother's dress and you pleaded in sanity. <laughs> you didn't have to tell them The that. war came to an end and Kaiser Bill was defeated. <laughs> Kaiser Bill, it wasn't that war! It was the other one, the replay with Vera Lynn, I missed it. <laughs> It was after that war that you did your first week in Variety. Do you remember who was on the bill with you that week? Of course I remember. Who was it? It was, um, 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 Percy Edwards. Percy Edwards. Percy. The, the, the bird impressionist. The bird impressionist. Uh, is he here now? He can't come. Why not? The cat's got him. Oh. <laughs> it was that first week that you realised the plight of others less fortunate than yourself. Yes, I realise there are a lot of poor people in London in need of money and clothes. And this prompted you to move to Peterborough. <laughs> it seemed the only sensible thing to do. Then came the big turning point. You met your good-looking genius of a partner, Eric Morkham. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Please. Yes, I do remember we met and, uh, yeah, we decided to have a go at comedy. We should have tried that. Yes. yes. <laughs> but now, I have a big surprise for you. A surprise? The many friends you have made throughout your career of all chipped in. You mean a, a collection? The rich, the famous, the talented, and Bernard Manning. <laughs> <laughs> they have asked me to give you a present. Oh, a present? Well, I, I always say there's, there's no people like show people. Ask any prison warden. <laughs> uh, on behalf of your many friends, I am deeply moved to present to you on this great occasion 
this. Luncheon voucher, Jeff. Luncheon voucher? 15 pounds. Yeah, is that all I get? 